It's awesome out here, and I'm out here at Naperville at Code Ninjas Camp, a wonderful spot for kids 7 to 14 to learn how to code, something I never did, but hey, maybe I'll walk out of here a master, who knows? And I'm here with Kalyan Anandula, the franchise owner here in Naperville. Kalyan, what was the inspiration behind you wanting to start your Code Ninjas franchise? Well, Brooke, I was looking something for my kids uh, who are age 10, 12 and 10 for them to do continually develop on their programming skills. Like coding is the new literacy. So I, want, I wanted my kids to do something to get for the future, prepare them for the future. And I ran across this uh, Code Ninjas, which is like such an awesome uh, curriculum and everything is game-based. Kids uh, work on their curriculum, building games, which is the fun they, uh, they like to do. And uh, they don't even know, but they're learning so much in the background that they're building valuable skills for the future. And that's what got me attracted. That's coaching. awesome, that's awesome. And we actually have some of your little ninjas out here this morning already at work. Tell us a little bit about what's going on here. So I've got my ninjas bright up and early. They're working on their curriculum. Most of them are on their white belt. Our program is like a martial arts, white to black belt. So in white belt, they're working on Scratch platform. And then uh, as they progress, they go on to JavaScript-based game development platform. Awesome. Well, we are going to learn all uh, more about that because a lot of that was complete foreign language to me. So we're going to learn the new language today, and uh, we'll bring you more. We're learning all about coding through playing games, teamwork, problem solving, and kids ages 7 to 14 are learning how to go from coding and computers to critters. I'm here with Mira, and she's going to be demonstrating a bit about the work that's going on here. These kids are out here designing robots yes from scratch designing robots programming them to move and I hear a little bit later we're gonna have some races going on this is my guy right here the grasshopper is mine it's on I am with the code ninjas I am with the code senseis we're learning all about how to code and turn computer code into critters into robots this has been so much fun I've already learned a ton this is Mira she's one of the senseis here at code ninjas so Mira can you help explain how it goes from computer to critter yeah, so when you first start out, you use something called block programming, which is all in English, really easy to understand. And then as you move forward, it gets more complicated. And then um, at the end, it turns into this cool control that we have to actually move the robots. Yeah, just like a joystick, right? So I, I think it's enough, enough explaining, enough talking. It's time to race. Sydney, Mira, you guys ready to rock? Yes. Sydney, you ready? Yes. All right, you ready to take third place? No. <laughs> All right, I like it. All right, enough talking. Let's get ready to race, guys. We'll see how we do. I wasn't too confident with my grasshopper last time, but you want to give us a countdown, guys? Three, two, one, go. What do we got? Three, two, one, go! Uh, oh, that's not going to work. All right, where's mine? Stuck on our cameraman's foot. All right, sorry, Bill. Sorry, Bill. Here we go. Oh, Sydney's is moving along. Sydney's got the... Oh, she's got the scorpion. All right, Mira with the beetle. Come on, grasshopper. Come on, grasshopper. Hey! Hey! All right, all right. Well, well, and we had we had one DQ. We've we've got an injured scorpion on the floor. What what happened to the scorpion? It kept on running into the wall. Oh man. All right, we got to get that fixed. We'll we'll fix it by the 7 o'clock hour, but don't worry. Mira takes first place, Grasshopper gets the second place and we will work on the scorpion. It looks like he needs a maybe taped ankle or something like that. Yeah. All right, we'll figure it out. It's going great out here. We've had a good time. I came second in a race of the robots, so I would like a rematch later on after the show, but this has been so much fun. Code Ninjas out here in Naperville. It's a terrific program for kids ages 7 to 14 to learn about coding through playing games, through teamwork, through communication. So for parents who say, oh, my kid spends enough time on the screens already. Well, not like this, because here they learn how to go from computer to critter and create games on their own. And I am here with franchise owner right now, <clears throat> excuse me, and this has to be such a, a great day for you. And can you help explain to us how this program actually works? Sure. So um, Adian, who's our uh, ninja uh, here, he's working on our white belt curriculum. He's using our Scratch platform to build a game called Platform Ninja. He's got on the left side the code where he's using the blocks and the scripts to develop his game. And on the right side, we've got the Platform Ninja game that he would be showing today. That's awesome. Okay, Adian, let's see what this looks like in action. Can you make it full screen for us? 
Let's see how this goes. Okay, so he was showing us here this morning. You guys, he has built this game in 30 minutes. So since walking in the door, he's making his own Honich, Hon, Sonic the Hedgehog game, but even better. Look at Adian go, okay? So parents, you can send your kids to Code Ninjas Camp out here in Naperville. Come check it out. What a great way to learn about being on the computer. I think I'm gonna stick around. Ad Adian, can you teach me how to play this afterwards? Yeah, sure. All right, my man's the expert. Not only am I here with the Code Ninjas, I am here with the senseis. Brady Kent is one of them. So to become a sensei, you have to be a high school or college student that wants a career in computer programming. So Brady's shown us all about that. And yes, we are learning all about drones. So Brady, can you help uh, just explain uh, what's going on here to help us program what this drone's about to do? Um, so we use uh, block coding, which is really easy and intuitive for the kids to understand. Uh, it's just really simple, easy to read instructions for the drone to follow. All right, sounds simple enough, right? All right, so we've programmed the drone. Well, I haven't, but uh, the kids have programmed the drone, and we're going to see it uh, in action here. What's it about to do? Uh, all it's going to do is take off, fly through that hoop, and land on the table on the other side. All right, let's give it a go, guys. Let's see if it can do it. The pressure is on. All right, so far so good on the takeoff. We've got a straight path ahead. I'm gonna give you guys the play-by-play -play right now of the drone. It's heading toward the middle. Is it gonna score a goal? Oh! Just like the Bears postseason, almost ending in flames, but this time it goes through. We'll, get, we'll, we'll call that a win, won't we guys? Does that count? All right, beautiful, we love it. Well, come out here, sign up. This is great. Kids ages seven to 14 can learn how to code and have a lot of fun doing it.